All right. Welcome, everybody. This is Dr. Norbert coming to you live from a very rainy London. And I couldn't be more stoked for this stream because we are in a brand new season. We didn't catch the first two weeks, I'm afraid, uh, because of a vacation I was on. But we are here now to stream a brand new season, which is exciting. And we're doing it post-update from the mini extravaganza that took place just last week in September of 2023. So we are hoping for some really exciting game here tonight uh, with new characters uh, displaying what they can capable of doing now that they have been buffed or altered in some fashion. So super excited about this. And I am very pleased that to join me on this uh, new voyage is my good friend and co-host, the Huggy Bear. Hello, Huggy. Hello, Norbert. Um, stoked is the word, apparently. <laughs> Maybe it's outdated now. Who knows? But when I when I was growing up, <laughs> it was stoked. <laughs> yeah, I have to confess that I had to ask uh, for uh, the meaning of the word before we came on. But uh, yeah, so much for not being a native speaker. But uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> how, how do you but, uh, when you uh, stoke? I guess the... I should know because the, yeah, exactly. Uh, I played too little pyro apparently, <laughs> so, not stoking the stoking the flames. Yeah. How do you he say it? How do you say stoked in uh, Swedish? Uh, it means to the, make the, the flames yeah. go bigger, or, you know, in a fireplace or, yeah. or anything. Um, as an excited. Uh, no, no, stoked is just a slang word. I mean, it has a legitimate meaning, which means to just make flames uh, push around the wood or something to make the flames get a little bit better. Yeah. Um, there's this Swedish expression, which is uh, like pour oil on the waves. Uh, but, that's, <laughs> uh, but, but that's more like a metaphor for making something worth. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> or, or more like... Or, or like uh, intensifying a, a, an already um, intense situation, so to speak. Ah, okay. We could do that, though. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it can be, I suppose. All right, everybody. Um, we are already have the match going. Um, I mean, rather, it's ready to be looked at. So ooh, let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of that. Uh, come on now. We're No, that's got rid of me now. What a disaster. Boom. Here we are, finally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let us I'll get everything all set up here. Let us take a look at what the rosters are so I can tell the boys that they're ready to go. So tonight we have two players. One we know. One is Liam Watt. He's from Scotland, known for his aggressive play style. And let's see what he brought along with him. Um, he's playing red tonight. He has got Beta Ray Bill, Cosmic Ghost Rider, new hotness, no changed, but brand new model, basically. Drax, ooh, Gamora. Groot, Thanos, he's been changed, Star-Lord, Rocket, Nebula, and Mystique. And um, let us go over to, let's look at his things real quick. Uh, Demons Downtown, Gamma Wave, Intrusions, Extracts or Deadly Legacy, Mutant Extremists, and Research Station. Now, let's go over to uh, Eric or Eroticos, <laughs> he's from Uppsala, Sweden. And you're still thinking about whether yes. he, 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 we'll talk about if you know him or not in a minute. Dr. Voodoo, he changed a lot. Um, nerfed in many respects. Crystal, Captain Marvel, Black Widow, Core Widow, Black Cat, she's changed as well. Ghost Spider, Gwenpool, yeah, Gwenpool. Okoye, She-Hulk, and Spider Woman, Crises, Scrolls, Research Station, De legacy virus very similar there and then we have secure Ooh, i missed the secures oh ah, okay they're starting <laughs> um oh let me get the uh visual yeah, i um i i realized that uh i in fact did play against uh eric uh eroticus uh, at one point uh at which time he also played a force ah okay uh, it was at a tournament this spring in sweden sadly i lost Ooh, okay. So you'd be watching this in anticipation for some virtual yeah. That, that payback. was like I, I think I think I think I was ahead by thirteen to eight or something, and still managed to lose. <laughs> okay, so um, as you might see from the um, dice rolls, um, 
Eric, uh, sorry, Liam, Liam won the role and took secures and they, Eric decided on 15 threats. So let's take a look what he picked. So they have Ooh. research station Ooh, down the middle. Yikes. And intrusions. This is, there's uh, three portals across the middle. Then um, if you interact with it, the secure, you drop all object tokens that you're holding. Then you roll a die. If you roll a crit wild, hit or shield, you can place your character within a one of another dark portal. But if you roll anything else, so that'd be blanks and skulls, the other player gets to place you. So against your will. Map tonight comes to from Mike DeLuca. Thank you, Mike, for making this uh, nice looking classical MCP map uh, with 33 points nice. of threat on the table. Yeah, so let's take a look at it. A non path map. Yeah, I know. This is what I'm saying. I'm thrilled. All right. The map well, is then, here. Not, not to say Pat's maps are bad in no, any just, way, but... Uh, you just see a lot of them. just made. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we've got a size 4 trailer here on the top left. Uh, ship container, size 3. Forklift, size 2. A couple size 1 lamps. Then we... Oh, I've seen this map before. It is quite good. Very cleverly designed, actually. Size 2 containers here, here. A um, size 2 barrels here. Size 2, size 2. Size 1 lamp posts again. Size two down here in the bottom left, and then a size three in the middle, and a size three there. And um, it's very symmetrical, so it somewhat reduces the benefit of being able to do sides. Sure, I think the biggest yeah. thing is probably whether you want the size four or not. Yeah. Okay, and then um, the portals that we were talking about are right down the middle here, so north to south, and then east to west are the research station. Um, uh, and the uh, researcher. So this is where you get two points if you're securing it, and if you are securing it, you get to move it within two of itself. And then if it's within one of the your evac point, or sorry, their evac point, um, you get an additional point. Yep. Welcome everybody. It used in to be two additional points. Right. So, they toned but, it down, uh, but people still don't like it. They want to get rid of it. They say no, 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 no. All right. Um, tell us a little bit about those two rosters that you saw and what you think is going to happen at oh no forget that let's talk about beer because i'm extremely thirsty or drinks i have look at this i have a um belgian quadruple tonight i was so excited about the side of the season i had to go for the quadruple nine thousand quadruple from golden drock which means golden dragon in flemish I Ooh, think. nice yeah so i'm looking forward to that and i got a proper belgian beer glass because I'm not in my artist's residence today. I, I'm home, and I have a nice one here. So, uh, yeah. I'm getting jealous here, Norbert. What do you got? I, I uh, didn't have time to mix myself a good old GT, so I had to just grab myself a little glass, nice little glass of uh, Lafroy uh, Quarter Cast. Ooh, yeah. Very potent. So, uh, very potent, yes, but uh, very good. Darn it. I should have... Um... I forgot to swirl it to get all the nice yeasties. Oh, no. Okay, hopefully it's not too bad. So you were saying uh, 15 points? 15 points, yeah. Choosing? So first of all, let's uh, welcome everybody to Season 12. And uh, we hope you have a great time uh, watching the stream and uh, enjoying games. And make sure you participate with us. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe so that we can reach more players. Uh, with the new edition coming out and everything, we need to get as many people watching these here so they get excited and buy into the game and start playing. So cheers. Cheers to Season 12. Skull. Oh, my God. Cloves. Is bananas? Is it in fact a new edition coming? Oh, okay, I misspoke, but we'll talk about that. Well, but first, I have well, the bananas on this thing. Is, is every, every, it's it's kind of like everything is it, it, everything is new except for the rules. <laughs> right. So what we're referring to is we have a couple new characters. Cosmic Ghost Rider is one of those. A ton uh, of new characters. No, well, I mean, say like brand, like new release models. Then yeah. 22 characters got updated from the back catalog. All exciting changes. Really good. And uh, we have the new core box coming out in uh, just about three more weeks. Yep. Which will have 10 new characters or 11 new characters. I can't remember. 
Uh, well, it depends on if you count uh, transforming characters as one. Character nah, yeah, and, just one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, not models. And uh, grunts. Of, yeah, yeah. So ten new characters. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, well, or so models, I believe. Okay, Liam is um, uh, infamous for going very tall. Him and Big Blake are these guys that go tall, and today is no exception. He's taken uh, Thanos with the Reality Gem and Space Gem. So, Senior Thanos still yes, still he's happening restricted now. Mm. Yeah, Star Lord Beta Ray Bill. Ugh, this looks ugly on a researcher. <laughs> yeah, it will be very interesting to see uh, how the nerf to um, uh, Thanos' uh, portal uh, will impact him. Right. Um, so he can only do it once per turn now. Exactly. And the unrestriction of the gems allows for uh, Liam to take restricted cards here. Uh, however, he's only elected to play with one, which is Sacrifice. Um, which is, uh, though, a very, very good card. Yeah, so let's take a look. He's taken Sacrifice, Fallback, Galaxy's, gra Ooh, Galaxy's Greatest. Wow, big dumb hero token. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Uh, recal. Uh, escort to safety. Oh, God, is that ugly. Yep. Let's go quickly over here. Uh, Eric's gone a little bit taller, but not much. Four characters. He's taken She-Hulk. Nice. Okoye. Captain Marvel. Love it. And the new Black Cat. Cards are special yep. delivery. Fantastic card for A-Force. Sacrifice as well. Recal as well. Fallback as well. And he's taken Brace on top of it. Um, technically... In this particular matchup, Black Cat is not nerfed at all because there are no extracts on the table. So uh, she wouldn't have been doing any stealing anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, she is uh, simply a very good stagger bot, mm -hmm. especially when she can get fed a ton of power with the A-Force leadership. Oh, good point about and that. Captain Marvel is, um, Captain Marvel is like... The, the he's a cheap affiliated flyer to do special delivery uh, to specially deliver she hulk <laughs> yeah and she's uh, you know goes binary form more easily as well with this a force she can uh, because she gets fed more power she still does have to be fed a pretty hefty amount of power though so uh, we will see um, whether she gets to be binary a lot or uh, dies uh, early, it, it depends on uh, the targets uh, uh, Liam chooses to go for. Mm -hmm. Because um, since he has a taller team, he will be dictating uh, the order of um, attacks. And if he decides that he wants to kill one particular model, he will probably be able to do so. Um let me interrupt you really quick you. to do the deployment. Uh, Thanos is straight down the middle. On his left is Beta Ray Bill. On the right is Star Lord. Meanwhile, we have She Hulk down the middle. Okoye just next to her. Captain Marvel just next to her as well. On the left flank, Black Cat doing a somewhat right flank, but not terribly wide. So they're they're quite centrally oriented. These two teams. Yep. It'll it's gonna be a brawl uh, for sure. Yep. Uh, it'll be. I, I'm I'm interested to see. Um, whether Eroticus goes for uh, trying to stagger Bill or Thanos. Um, none of them, as it seems, because she's already activating. Hmm. Interesting. Now, Jake uh, apparently uh, uh, beat you at uh, one of your big tournaments. And also... Uh, Eroticus, yeah. Eroticus, yeah. Oh, yeah, Eric. And um, exactly. Jake in the chat was saying how Eric uh, was telling him he wants to drop Captain Marvel and now he's fielding her. So maybe some new tech now being explored here. Maybe, maybe. He's from Uppsala, uh, which is quite far north from you. It is. Um, like uh, 70 European miles or something. <laughs> Imperials? Uh, meaning... Seven, uh, 700 kilometers. <laughs> I don't think that conversion is correct, but okay. So, so let's just work with the kilometers. A mile, a mile to everyone except you is 10 kilometers. Oh, is that how it works? Oh, yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. Huh. Okay. 
That makes a lot more sense. Um, what was it? All right, so, Black Cat has taken the secure and is hiding behind the size three here. And uh, Liam must have um, a moose Star Lord up to contest the dark portal up there, also hiding behind the size three. <laughs> so that covers the two flanks, I suppose. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now it's just brawling in the middle. As it is with, uh, as it goes with uh, researcher, one of the portals. Don't forget is hiding underneath that researcher. So there's a uh, three points to score right in the middle. Um, I think I assume Eric is here considering uh, doing the special delivery play, maybe. But now he's looking at Okoye instead. Yeah. Now, I don't think the special delivery. I don't think. Don't think he has deployed uh, for that hmm. for for the early special delivery, unless um, Liam decides to put something on the middle point, um, which he very well very well might, but he can wait to do that until his last activation. Uh, well, to put someone like. Who knows? Thanos uh, <laughs> on that point. Yeah. Uh, and then th that means that special delivery is basically off the table for round one because uh, you more or less need two activations for that to go through the way you want it. You want to play it before She Hulk has activated, preferably, uh, because you want to do get a free attack and then follow up with two regular attacks, so to speak. Um, but. I uh, now that might happen because Beta Ray Bill just entered the fray. Uh, yeah, Beta Ray Bill makes a move. He's contesting alongside Koye now, the researcher. And um, be interesting to see what Thanos does now because Thanos, he still, I think he got buffed, as, like on a personal level, he got buffed. He, um, but he, what he yeah. doesn't do anymore is like rearrange the entire game state, which is what people hated. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that, what big of, how big that difference actually is. Yep, exactly. Um, for for purposes of round one of games, the difference will be uh, next to nothing, because he was. Unless he took the power gem, he was never portaling more than once anyway during his round ones. So um, I assume he will be space jamming forward, moving once, punching someone, and portaling someone else off the point. Um, Ooh, special delivery so, happening now. Yep. So this is the card Time where to... a flyer moves within two of She-Hulk, and then... Um, well, they she Hulk has to be within two of the flyer. The flyer then moves, and after they finish moving, then She Hulk gets to drop down next to the flyer and actually do an attack. Do a free attack. So this is Captain Marvel's second move. So she'll be staying there, contesting the researcher, and then here comes She Hulk to land next to Beta Ray Bill. Yep, I think it's important to try and get her within one of the researcher. Uh, yeah, which looks easy enough to do. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's got it. Ooh, big shout out to Lucas, who's in the chat now. Thank you for joining us, Lucas. Just wanted to shout you out because he's got a streaming channel now, and he is being—he's a monster. He's like streaming every other day. Uh, TTS wow. matches. Yeah, yeah. Just filthy American matches, though. You know, it's not like cool European stylish games like these. But you know, at least he's doing something with what he's got to work with. Sounds amazing. I gotta have a look at that. <laughs> uh, okay, first attack. Uh, not so great, actually. And Bill only attack. Yeah, two, two. Attack. Yeah, it looks okay. like nothing. Yeah, no damage because Bill can reduce it, but uh, he gets slowed, which is probably not very significant. And uh, researcher now. But uh, She-Hulk is now in a uh, central position, and she has yet to activate. Yes. Okay, here comes the big boy himself. 
Yeah. So, Who the, the, will he be punching? Fresh, he's question. just fresh out of the uh, spa with his makeover. And he's yep. feeling very Might pretty. Might be a bit dangerous to punch She-Hulk here because he's going to build up power. Mm. And then she can really do work. Like maybe double punch Thanos and then throw Bill away or something like that. Possibly. Uh, yes, people are correcting us. The new core box, which is called the Mightiest Core Box, I think it's called, it does indeed have 11. Earth's Mightiest Core Box. That's it, yes. yeah. It's fun. It does indeed have 11 unique characters. It's got 13 models in it because of the grunts and what and the transforming, but it's uh, 11, 11 characters. All brand new. All right. I just, I just assumed it was 10 because the, the, the old yeah. one was 10, but they, it's 10 plus Winter Soldier. Yes. Who's, who's not a rogue agent, though. <laughs> yeah, not okay. the new one. Yeah. Even though they said he was on the stream. <laughs> Those Perhaps guys. He some, <laughs> Perhaps he was at some point during testing. Yep. Right. So we got um, uh, Space Gem portaling up Senior Thanos. Mm -hmm. And what's he going to do? Now he's going to have to get into the mix. So right now, he unless he starts throwing people away, he um, Eric is owning the researcher and the middle point. Don't forget. I am, maybe he's contemplating whether to do portal first and then uh, move or move first, punch something and then portal. Um, he can use the portal to set up uh, these like bowling balls or uh, sort, sort of um, putting a character in front of another character and then punching them, hoping for the wild to uh, throw them into them and doing extra damage. Hulk is size three, so he would be the most beneficial to to uh, do that with. Um, she will have a big activation, but then priority will still be with uh, Liam. So uh, putting damage into her might be beneficial for him because he will uh, be maintaining prio for the foreseeable future. Yeah, exactly. Ed's Ooh, you... he's. What? Looks like he's uh, using the portal to fish out She-Hulk. And uh, now he will be able to punch her twice. And she will not be able to get bodyguarded uh, by mm -hmm. Okoye mm -hmm. um, either. Yep. Yeah, clever move. Ooh, four hits into no saves. Yikes. Yep. And he gets to throw her into that lamppost for an additional damage. <laughs> Not a good start. That's Boom. five hit points. <laughs> oh, five hit points, yeah. But keep in and mind, she no has an activity. no patch-up uh, yeah. on Erotica's side. Interesting. Sacrifice and Brace for Impact, though. Two very good cards. Um... Yeah, She-Hulk is about to have a very potent um, activation. But she will be in grave danger when next turn starts. Next round starts. All right, hand-waving, hand-waving. Thanos still has another action to go. I think he, uh, Aeroticus is cont contemplating whether to use uh, She-Hulk's aggressive uh, abilities. Yes. Uh, maybe he can find an angle that puts him back on the point. Maybe. Uh, unlikely, but let's see. Or, uh, 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 Ooh, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, it's not a bad, a bad thing to go stand uh, backstopped by Beta Ray Bill because that forces... Thanos to not use the throw for damage unless he wants to have She-Hulk thrown into his own Beta Ray build. So that could save damage. Big shout out or, to Carl. this place. Sorry. Big shout out to Carl, um, one of the mods uh, on the uh, in the West bracket. He has uh, taken over the TTS um, mod and been adding all kinds of improvements uh, in terms of the new characters and stuff like that and keeping it, you know, fresh. So um, 
thank you to the new owner um, for taking it on in the first place and actually very quickly adding all the new models into the mod. Okay, second attack, Oof, another one, four hits. But the good block this time. Yeah, three blocks, nice one. Yeah, um, note here that now here we see the nerf to Thanos in effect. Okay. Because Thanos is now on five power. He is about to go to six power, I think, with this attack. Right. Um, and an unnerfed Thanos would score the researcher here because he would have had the power to do two cosmic portals, putting Okoye and Miss Marvel off and having uh, Beta Ray Bill score it, most likely. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Disregarding, uh, uh, disregarding uh, She Hulk's activation. Right. Though. Uh, which you certainly can, but uh, uh, displacing those two characters um, is obviously huge because that would have forced She Hulk to uh, concentrate on getting Beta Ray Bill off the point and also moving herself uh, to the point, unless you want to not have it scored and moving it towards your back lines, which is pretty good. So, yeah, um, nerf in effect. Uh, Okami, it's Senior Thanos tonight. I know the overlay is saying double reality, but that is not correct. He's the yeah. He's still a, sporting a... his sombrero, enjoying margaritas and guacamole. And he's about to get upper, sensationally uppercutted. <laughs> See how she does? Ooh. Boom! <laughs> Zero blocks. Yes. Three crits. <laughs> Yeah. Take this. Oh man, that was in Matrix. Anyone? Recal? Recalibration Matrix? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I think it. Yup. There it <laughs> he is. He didn't save anything. <laughs> that was six to zero to saves. Let's see how he let the uh, with yeah, the reroll two skulls does. And Eroticus is rolled, uh, which he does not get to reroll. Right. So uh, uh, okay. another. Decent hit, but yeah, three, three saves, yeah. and re that's zero damage. Wow, recal. zero damage. Wow, yeah. that's recal. recal. That's recal for you. Drink, everyone. <laughs> mm. Well, now that's out of the game. Maybe he will fall back. Ooh, yeah, he could get onto the researcher. No, uh, Thanos can only fall back. Oh, oh, oh you meant Thanos. Away. Sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Everyone. Yeah, don't listen. To uh, if he wants to avoid um, the second attack from She Hulk here, right? Or he might save that for later. Who knows? Hey, I, I found a new scotch that you might like. It's very heavily peated, called Smokehead utility cookie mm -hmm. turned me on to it and cookie i bought it from my parents when i was in the airport uh, last week and it was fantastic it was a rum riot version of it it was great and i don't like pd whiskeys and this one i liked oh so nice. oh my god Whoa, <laughs> she hulk is the big hit pissed off five six seven eight nine oh my god <laughs> 11 hits <laughs> it's a bill a bill it's a bill oh my god <laughs> That was wow. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Days bill that does not happen. What is this is madness? New MCP, everyone. Oh, PHP was like, oh, I should do this. I could throw him. I could teleport uh, him. No, just hit him you, in the you, face. <laughs> Note that sacrifice was played by Liam here. Uh huh. So, uh, oh, was that going into Thanos? Uh, otherwise, presumably, yeah, it was presumably going into Thanos, <laughs> but was sacrificed into Bill, so that um, Thanos avoided to get one shot. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have been one shot. He would have been one shy of getting really chased. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus th eventually three saves. So what is that? Eight, nine, ten, right. eleven. No, he would have done eight. Eight plus three is eleven. Oh no! Uh, the the yeah, but he's the, reducing the skull, by one. The, yeah, yeah, the skull, yeah. the skull. The skull is a crit. crit yeah, yeah. Would would have been a crit, and he would have reduced by one. Wow. Is this the throw now? Uh, I assume so. 
Yeah, he's throwing, throwing the, the size uh... two there. Yeah. Um. There they go on the floor. Let's see who he's throwing out. Probably Thanos, right? Can't be Bill anymore. So. Yeah. Um, Eroticus will be scoring the researcher, and he will get to move it. Question is if he's going to put it forward or backwards. Yeah. And uh, when when it was two bonus points for having it close to the opponent's evac point. Um, you usually were moving it forward. Nowadays, you often see people moving it towards their own lines yep. or towards one side. Right. And that's so that you can cause the, the opponent to try to come to you if you want to continue brawling with them, basically. Right. Well, some uh, Swedish dice. That's what we, I need to get my hands on some of them. Yeah, apparently. Um well, Ups yeah. Uppsala is a, a you know a, a university town with lots of research uh, institutions, just like Lund, <laughs> where I live. Well, I don't know if the Lund tech is up to this Uppsala tech because whatever they've done to their dice, it's working. Viking dice. Well, <laughs> Uppsala is older. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they they usually say that the uh, um, Uppsala is the the sweet. The seat of uh, Swedish knowledge, but uh, Lund is its head. <laughs> that sounds like somebody trying to feel important. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jake, for all the... Uh, the, joke, the joke being that Uppsala is the, the ass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That just went completely over my head. <laughs> um, Ryson, uh, Jake Ryson is telling us... Uh, Look at these ages, Americans, American peoples. Lund was established in 1666, which is, I think, when the pilgrims came over the, to America. The, 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 the university. Not, not yeah, the yeah, town. yeah. Sorry, the university. And Uppsala's university is 1447. Oh, God. Was there even books in 1447? <laughs> Jesus. Handwritten, <one. laughs> Handwritten yeah. <laughs> Papyrus. Thanks, PHP, for giving us some encouragement to having streaming. We missed it. We definitely missed it. We we're on a long hiatus. I hope you guys enjoyed the streams of mine over the August break. They were horrific. They were not Uppsala dice by any means. <laughs> uh, but it hopefully tied you over. And then, unfortunately, I couldn't stream the last two weeks because uh, I was on vacation away. But here we are. So, um, so where did the researcher go? Be... Oh, the researcher went right in between. Ooh, what's this? A big spender? Ooh. Who's activating? Oh my god. Six, uh, sure. Eight. No no arrows. Yeah. Oh shit. It's a big, big hit though. It I assume this is either Bill or Thanos. What's Bill. Bill's Spender like? Oh, he might have uh, gone into Captain America with it because he's got that attack that hurts flyers worse. I think he's got just gonna go full ham on uh, She Hulk. She Hulk. Yeah. Yeah, and apparently that's what he's doing. This... Throwing her away. God, that was a huge hit. Three, Oof. six, oh, and yeah. eight. Mm. My God. Oh, this is, this, this is not good for Eroticus. If she hulk goes down, I don't see him pulling out of this. Which is obviously the, the weakness. she hulk is both the strength and the weakness of A-Force. She is a very potent model. But if she goes down, the whole game plan goes down with her. Mm -hmm. Can she survive? She's away from her sacrifice. She's away from her Okoye. This is how you handle her, unfortunately, for uh, Eric. You, you control her. She will her. most likely be able to um, aggressive back. Maybe get her within two of Okoye to bodyguard the second attack. Maybe. But um, another one of those, and she's going to be dead. Yeah, six hit points left on her. Yeah. <clears throat> Jeez, some big dice today. They didn't say anything about buffing the dice. Yeah. In the update, did they? No, both. Both. But um, Eroticus does, did not uh, use his recalibration matrix here. Ooh. That's, that's a bucket oh, that bucket of dice. Eight, eight, Dude. Oh, dice. he must have forgotten, because like, why wouldn't you? Oh my god. 
Now's oh geez, he must have forgotten. Can you make a note? I don't know. It's 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 fifty uh, percent hits. That's not an insane spike. So oh, I see. Uh, you yeah, are maybe you're quite likely to get the same result again, and effectively wasting the card. Yeah, true. Okay, maybe he's factored that in. Maybe maybe it's Carl tweaking the dice rollers. Everyone's worried yeah, about the. Th th this was obviously a uh, God Hunter attack from Beta Ray Bill, uh -huh. uh, which is five dice. You add the dice equal to the target size, which is three in this case. And then on top of that, you add Thanos' uh, Death's Decree, obviously, which is going to be plus four dice because Beta Ray Bill was on his injured side. So that uh, took it up to a 12 dice attack. Uh, so she got Dang. thrown into Thanos. Thanos is doing a dodge roll. May have to take uh, a few damage here. Not sure. Yeah, and he does not get power for that damage. Oh, really? Apparently using a wing a token for this. Ooh. So. He saved one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. His, his uh, reduce does not work because this is not an enemy effect. Oh, oh! So yeah, he gets one save from the from the uh, skull because of his reality gem. Yep. Uh, so he takes three. Nice. So it seems like he really, really wanted to um, uh, do that extra damage to heal. Yeah. He will, however, be able to aggressive uh, move towards Bill and get within two of. Koye. Yep. Oh my god, did he not do it? Uh, but is, he, is he not he, doing it? Uh, it appears he did not. Ooh. What is going on? Eric. Uh two hits there into oof, no saves again. God. Four hits. Oh, God. Um, yeah, that. Um, hmm. Hmm. He's not gonna. Is it winging die. in tokens? Uh, he's using, reca using recalibration matrix now. Hmm. Three hits from the recal so three, into one save. One block. Yeah. yeah. Takes two and gets stunned. Done on She Hulk is bad. Yeah. Although she's got and tons still of power. Still no aggressive. There we go. And now he's throwing her. He has brace though. But he, he can give her a uh, crappy turn because her action economy is not great. No. Riddlesworth wants you to ask why the She-Hulk player didn't move back into bodyguard range at the bottom of one. Bill spends a power. Oop. And they're flying into Okoye. Mm -hmm. With a throw. With the throw. Huh. Okay, uh, that's it for Bill. Big turn for Bill on his clap pack. Um, She-Hulk in bad shape. She's only got three hit points left, and Thanos can really screw up all her protections with uh, Sacrifice and Okoye. So, um, what to do about this? <clears throat> Liam still has Escort to Safety and Fallback there to help protect Thanos. But She-Hulk really needs to take him out. I mean, he. I'm I'm pondering the question whether um, it might have been better for Eroticus to not make his second attack uh, at the end of round one because uh, effectively all that did was dace Beta Ray Bill, making him more potent mm -hmm. with Death Decree next round, mm -hmm. and 
instead of moving a regular move action into bodyguard range, which would have prevented this entire uh, spike into her. Mm -hmm. You have to think about that. Sometimes it's not worth attacking. Yeah. So uh, basically it was, uh, it became, well, you cannot predict dice, obviously, but it became, uh, you traded a dace on Bill for uh, 12 damage into She-Hulk. All right, Here's who's spender into Thanos? Who's this? Um, she Hulk. She Hulk's doing her spender into Thanos. Nice hit. Uh, Seven, which, which is going to auto stagger him because he is already slow. Mm -hmm. Good point. And he saved nothing. Wow, he's dazed. Ooh. Whew. She Hulk gets to live for the moment. Amazing. If he can KO Beta Ray Bill somehow, then maybe he can pull the researcher away and keep this, maybe keep this alive to go ahead enough on scoring and then try to play avoidance. So earlier, Brace was played between Okoye and She Hulk, so that's off the table. Mm -hmm. um, she's got no power left, so she's going to normal punch him. Does uh, three hits uh, into, I think, no saves. <clears throat> He's going to reduce by one, take two. Oh, and winging it, maybe. No, it doesn't help. Yeah, taking two. And um, slowed. Boop. And he's done. So it's just Star-Lord on Liam's side. Liam must be sweating a bit here, I have to say. But... One move, well, Star Lord could teleport over to She Hulk and blow her up. <clears throat> Let's see what he decides to do. He could just walk over, but I think he'll take the chance. Yep, sure enough. He's paid yeah. the power. He's going to roll a die now to see if he can teleport. Yeah, because if he fails, he can still interact. He can interact again. Yeah. Uh, with the, the other point. Because he can interact once with every, but yeah, he gets to. He succeeded. Or he wants to. Uh, Okoye will, uh, however, um, be within two of Star Lord, count blanks. Yeah. When she bodyguards, I. I, I, I assume. He must bodyguard this. Come on. There he goes. Yeah, he spent the power. Yes, there but, it is. And within two. Good job, Eric. And now Okoya needs to take one damage or be unable to bodyguard the second. Ooh, oh, there's, nope. that's no damage. Yeah, but the sacrifice okay. is there, right? Or is there not a sacrifice? Sacrifice is there, uh, sure. What's the power cost? I would, however, sacrifice into Captain Marvel here because she yeah, can sure. get uh, count Wilds double and get extra power yep. from energy attacks. Totally. I'd do the same. One each. Thank you, PHP. Yeah, they can spend one each. Thank God She-Hulk has got one left. <laughs> so Yeah, she she, uh, she got... No, she did not get that part. She ha already had it. What? Not sure what he's measuring now. Sacrifice. Here we go. Yep. So, second attack going against Captain Marvel. Smart move. Four hits with the crit. Crit rolls into nothing. No. And one yeah. save. Yeah. No wild, sadly. So, three damage. But that's going to take her up to what she needs to uh, go binary and... Uh, do a number on both Bill and Star. Uh, Star Lord is gonna portal He's gonna out of there. Portal out of there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he succeeds. So he can go where he wants. <laughs> He's brilliant. Uh, oh, do you know what? Uh, do you know what I think Captain Marvel will be doing now? What's that? She's going to kill Bill. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. At first, she's going to wiggle her big toe. <laughs> oh, love it. Oh, I love it. Kill Bill. Volumes one and two. Amazing. For all the uh, Gen Z, you know, we're, we are the um, most important channel in MCP for Generation Z, as you know. Uh, uh, they, they love us. They don't like to like and subscribe, but that's their way. But they are our biggest yeah. biggest fans, Gen Z. And um, they may not be familiar with the Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2 films. Do go out and see them or stream them. They're amazing. Indeed. Ha, ha, ha. We're not the greatest generation, you bozo. BHP. I'm Generation X. I, you might be millennial already. I don't know, Huggy. You might be Generation millennial. X. Millennial? No. If you call, call me millennial again, and I will. I'll come over there and slap you. This <laughs> I'll come over and slap you. <laughs> I'm born in the 80s, for God's sake. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to the the generation of, of repressed emotions and, and seething anger for the establishment. <laughs> Uh, all right. What is going on with the hand waving? Yeah, PHP had it right. There's a lot of hand waving going on for just three characters on so, the board. <laughs> Come on. Um, funny thing is that uh, Liam has zero activations to go, and Eroticus has three of them. Yep. Now he does have fallback on the board still, so um, that could be a factor into who is attacking first. Whoop! There she goes. I love I... it. Binary form. I actually, if I was Eroticus here, I would actually activate Okoye first because she's going to stay put mm -hmm. anyway. And he might uh, spike into Beta Rebuild, freeing up Captain Marvel to chase after Star-Lord. Yep. Uh, but if uh, if Captain Marvel now kills Bill, then uh, Okoye is definitely not going to portal away to do work. Uh, so... Um, it's uh, it's not very likely that uh, Okoye will do much to beta rebuild, but uh, MCP dice are dice, and you're not giving yourself uh, Eric is here, not giving himself the chance to have a random spike free up actions for him to to do other important stuff here. Two saves into four hits. Um, not great work out of um, Captain Marvel, I'm afraid. She, uh, she has full rerolls. Full rerolls. All right, we'll see. First attack, though, she did nothing. This is much better. Six hits into two saves. So three will go through with the damage reduction. Ooh, yep, and that's, that's that, going to be enough. That's enough. He's only five on this side. I didn't realize that. Uh, yep. Wow. Ooh, this game's nuts. I'm dying. Bam! Captain Marvel, resurgent. I like that film. I don't know if it was well-received, but I liked her in that film, and I, I thought... Um, I thought the messages were good. And I, I think about it whenever I'm feeling a little down myself. All right, let's go. Right. That's good. It was good. Hey, Joe. Well, Welcome, Joe. Jojo Menji. Yeah, it's a bloody battle so far. So um, we have the York Autumn Weekender next weekend. This weekend, I'm doing a tournament in London. If you want to come down, we're running with clocks. We're trying clocks out, chess clocks for the first time. Let's see how people like it. So that's going to be a thrill with the new characters, of course. Weekend after that is the York Autumn Weekender, which I'm super thrilled about. Then we have in middle of October, we have a team tournament practice event in London. And then the weekend after that is the WTC in Copenhagen. Yes. So excited. I think uh, one important thing that Eric needs to do um, this round is to st uh, backstop Okoye on something that isn't She-Hulk. Because Thanos is going to Space Gem in and get two attacks into She-Hulk. And one of them is probably enough to take her down um, permanently. And so you need to somehow ensure that Okoye can bodyguard both of those attacks. And if she stands where she is now and and she takes the first attack, 
if Liam uh, manages to roll a wild, then she will uh, fly out of bodyguard range. So, but if she moves forward and backstops herself against uh, Captain Marvel, then that will not be impossible. Uh, not not possible. Mm -hmm. Black Cat successfully teleports up to um, Star Lord's position, hits him with a normal attack, I think. So three yep. hits it to three saves. So no problem. And does it, you know, this time she does the spender. So she's doing the stagger attack now. Okami and the chat is asking if won't Thanos just cosmic portal Okoye away and away? No, he will not because he does not have his cosmic portal on his injured side at all. Bam! Huggy th throwing down the strats. So Okoye is key. She might actually save she Hulk for another activation, mm -hmm. uh, but she needs to not be thrown away. So she needs to position herself carefully, not to get backstopped, um, and preferably also so that she does not get sent flying into She Hulk, possibly killing her with her body weight, uh, because brace for impact has already been played. If anybody keeping score, I, I love Belgian beers that are very have a very nice body, nice multi mid mid body to them, and this Golden Drac nine thousand quadruple man that hits the mark for me. That was a fantastic beer. <clears throat> Is she doing another teleport? Sure enough, she's teleporting back over here, so she scores another point for Eric. Right. Eric is uh, currently the one benefiting from high scoring velocity. So scoring points for yourself is more important than contesting uh, them against your opponent. So uh, it's going to be an 8-2 lead for Eroticus. After this round. Okay, so now he's looking at... Uh, Getting Okoye within four of Star Lord. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. <laughs> I would have advised Huggy against it. Huggy bears. <laughs> Quite nervous. Yeah, because now Thanos uh, will be able to punch Okoye so that she flies into She Hulk. Possibly twice. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I think he. he uh, I think there, there, there might have there. Uh, there was probably a position where he could stand, like um, base to base with Captain Marvel, uh, but slightly uh, south of her uh, most protruding point, so that uh, there's no angle for her to go flying into She Hulk, but she's still within two. Then again. Possibly Thanos, in that case, could have found another angle to punch her uh, to fly away in the other direction. Is Eric on one of your Swedish WTC teams? Uh, I'm not sure. He he should be. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, he Jake. Is. Jake, yes, Jake, so Jake is. Yes, Jake is. Yes. There's so many Swedish teams, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> oh, yeah. Apparently, Uppsala, all, Vass all of the Swedes, all yeah. of the Swedes will be invading Denmark. I know it's just, it's so Viking. It's really bad. Yeah, <laughs> we, we we know we know how it's done. We've, we've done it before. <laughs> we will do it again. We, we know where all the loot is. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, Torborn. Um, Yay. Good to see you, um, Art Routh. Oh my God! I, only, I now your real name is. Yeah, Tor Torbjorn is uh, on uh, my team. Oh, is he? Nice. Yeah. Okay, here goes. So that was a space gem portaling now, up um, Okoye, Thanos. Okoye needs Pete, thank to you. Be lucky. No wild, but, but. Also, no damage. 
Uh, wow. Yes, one one damage. Uh, actually, this is a time. Um, this is uh, one of those. Uh, well, there there's the wild as well, because there was a crit. Um, for uh, the skull. Bummer. So, uh, uh, but okay. if uh, assuming there wasn't a crit, uh, Eric should actually have rerolled one of his blocks here uh, instead of rerolling that hit to get another block because he wants to take two damage so he can bodyguard again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But n- now there's nothing stopping Thanos from punching She-Hulk, uh, most likely taking her out of the game. Huggy Bear, I'm, uh, I'm contemplating going to a French tournament, two-day tournament, because it's two days. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, just... Can you, can, can you drive to Yeah, I'm going France? to, because it's just south yeah. of Calais, it's, so it's not actually convenient to go to oh, by train. That... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's mid-December, I think the 16th, 17th uh, weekend, and so a few of us are going to drive down and see what uh, if we can catch any frogs. Nice. Frog hunting. How many uh, people, or how many spots? Uh, 40. 40? That's great. Yeah. Why are the French not on the, or did they get a WTC? No, they didn't together? get it together. I, I don't know why. All right. Oh, well, there goes She-Hulk. She-Hulk, yeah. Boop. Boom. Okay, so now Captain Marvel uh, needs to do the dirty on needs... Thanos. Yeah, um, contemplating whether it's better to uh, do not remove She-Hulk at this point. He stays on the board until the, the cleanup phase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she... Uh, Black Cat is going to stagger Thanos for sure. Um, question here is, do you try to finish Thanos off with Captain Marvel? Um, is she capable? Um, don't doubt don't doubt Captain Marvel. How dare you? <clears throat> or do you try to take Star-Lord out of action? That is a good question. That is a good question. I think Star Lord is not a that big of a threat to Captain Marvel, given the fact that she is great at defending against energy attacks. Mm-hmm. I just think Thanos needs to go down for Era Eric to win this game, I think. I think so too. I think if he can if focus but, fire uh, now uh, on uh, Thanos. Um Sheik is suggesting that he just try to score the research of this round and then run away. Um, yes, that would take him to 12 point. Uh, and then Liam would have two rounds to score the researcher. Uh, that would bring him to 11 which is not enough. Yeah. So that, that the math checks out. <laughs> Score the researcher and run away. Lucas, are you thinking of the turn six play? Is that what you're suggesting by saying Eric might be able to establish too large a score for Liam to come back from? He might, he might actually... Uh, be able to do that and uh, put attacks into Thanos. Because um, Captain Marvel has a size, uh, size 4 throw as well, so she can uh, put some distance between herself and Thanos. Probably not enough to deny him one attack, though. But uh, Thanos will be staggered for the rest of the game uh, until he dies. Uh, <laughs> I think we can... And to be clear, that's because Black Cat will teleport in, stagger him, and then teleport out. Shooting Star Lord in cover. <laughs> I think stabbing Thanos. Yeah, just do Thanos. We know we know Okoye auto one round Thanos. <laughs> yes. Ask the Australians. <laughs> yeah. Reference to was it like uh, season two TTS League season two where uh, Okoye one shot Thanos in the final? 
Well, look at that. Four hits into one save, or yeah, two with cover, I guess. So two go through. Hey. Nice. She's he's she needs three more to take down Star Lord. It gives her no power though. Hmm. And um Eroticus uh Eroticus actually still has the leadership until the cleanup phase. Because She Hulk is still on the board even though she's dazed. Mm -hmm. And you still have leadership when you're dazed. Mm. Okay. So here comes Liam dropping in Star Lord. Yep. Hello. If he manages to daze uh, Captain Marvel here, that would be bad news. So Okoye is gonna have to do some bodyguarding. Well, it's just one attack. Don't forget, because he's had he was staggered, he, and he's using his spender. Yeah, and, and there's the bodyguard and Dust Degree, I think as well. So, bodyguard. All right, let's we'll see what Okoye can do here. Um, not a bad hit. Four, including a crit. Crit rolls into another hit, so that's five hits into two saves. Three damage. Oh, gets the re-roll. Let's see if she survives. She does not. That takes nope. her down. Which is fine. Yep. Fine. It's fine. And that's him, although he can teleport back out. But he decides to stay. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, he's uh, contesting. Cur currently, this is actually a pretty smart move, I think. Because Why? now no one's scoring the researcher. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, but... So, but he's, and, you know. and that me and, and unless... Because uh, this, this is uh, forcing Eroticus to put attacks into Star-Lord rather than Thanos if he wants to score the researcher. I guess he could throw him toward through himself off the point with his size four. I don't think that's a terrain only uh, throw. I think it's anything. Pretty sure. So Captain Marvel activates again. She throws a binary form another time. Yeah. And I'm gonna presume she's gonna go after Star Lord. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay. Well, yeah, because he's the only one who's healthy, right? So get rid of him. Sure, sure. But uh, double tap Thanos and throw Star-Lord off the point. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, sometimes the red mist hits you and you just want to do attacks when you could be doing clever stuff instead. That's two, three saves into three hits so far. Uh, boy, Captain yeah, Marvel. She can throw a size four character medium, so mm. he would... Uh, be able to get started off that point. Mm. Uh, because if she daces him, he's going to have a uh, plus four dice with Death's Decree next round. Sure. Which is big owie. Let's see what the second action becomes. <clears throat> what do you think, Lucas? Where's Lucas? Give us the Lucas. Uh, he's, Lucas is on the field. He's doing the, the sideline impressions for us here tonight. More hand-waving. Mm -hmm. mm. Very important part of the MCP. It's a hand-waving phase. This is where the Norwegians usually mm. would be drinking beers in real-life games. The important thing is um, that he scores the researcher no matter what. Uh, oh, he's spending. Uh, okay. Well, he did a spender of some kind. Uh, it, it must be Rocket Punch on Thanos. Ooh. Five Seven hits, dice. including a crit. Wild stagger. Yeah, there's the stagger. Oof. Wow. But the stagger he would have gotten anyway from Black Cat. Yeah. Just takes one point of damage, but, too. Yeah. Yeah. And, um... Does he... Mm. I, I, I... If I were Eroticus, I would have done two, j 
just normal energy blasts into Thanos, generating two power, and then throwing Star-Lord off the point. Mm -hmm. uh, now he's going to have to put Black Cat into the mix. And uh, what he does not want at this point is to um, have his models bunched up so that Thanos can kill them with by dunking them into each other. Which is exactly what will be possible here. Mm-hmm. Well, big big question here. Does he teleport? Does he just move? I don't know. He really wants to get into that middle. I, so. I think I think I think you try to teleport. Hope you get to the right spot. Then you have power to stagger Star Lord as well, mm -hmm. um, so that he will only make one attack, and then Okoye can bodyguard it. If you fail the teleport roll, you have to double move. Um, but I mean, the only thing left in the mix is for him to do a grappling hook and then a normal attack into Star Lord. But dacing him doesn't really do anything if Black Cat is already on the point. Oh, is this a troublemaker? He's yep. Okay, so he's gambling on getting the elusive trigger. Or he will forfeit the two, uh, or he will not score the three middle points. So he needs a wild, right? Yeah, he's a gambling man. <laughs> he's a riverboat gambler. He got it! He got it! He got it! He got it. <laughs> Master plan. Upsala yes. dice. <laughs> he got everything. Upsala dice. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> he just started selling them. <laughs> okay. Amazing. So people at home, he yep. walked forward, he then did his spender, uh, which uh, allowed him to elusive because of the wild forward a little bit more, short remove, and then also put a stagger on, um, on Star-Lord. So he got everything he wanted out of that, plus one damage. <clears throat> okay, so 11-2, ele yeah. If uh, he had thrown Star-Lord off the point, Cat, Black Cat could have remained on the point she was and gotten this to 12 points. Uh, and I think the maximum uh, level that Liam could get to is 11. So, um, <clears throat> uh, I think uh, Eric could have been in a better spot uh, <laughs> had he had he uh, w without rolling any dice for it. Right. 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 All right, so um, Liam's up. Looks like he is activating Star Lord first. Star, mm -hmm. Star Lord doing an attack into binary form Captain Marvel. He has a stagger, so that should go first. Yeah. I assume he will bodyguard this to Okoye. Ooh, yeah, good point. Although, like you were saying, the he's got a lot of... Um, Energy, but you know, you might as well do it now in case Okoye gets KO'd. Yeah, I mean, losing an activation with uh, Captain Marvel is way worse than losing Okoye here. Yep. Yep. So bodyguards. And happening. she has spent. Yep. yep. Woo! Good. Good job. Look at that hit. Yikes! Seven Good hits. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna. She's down. She's dead. Wow. Bye -bye. These dice are bonkers today. Carl, what did you do to yeah, the well, rollers, he's, man? <laughs> he's he's, uh, he's um, uh, getting plus four. No, he's not uh, on his injured side. He only gets plus two, but uh, three crits. <laughs> uh, That'll do it. Add stuff. <laughs> yep. All right. That's... Okay. So <clears throat> at this point. Um, hmm. Now, what do you do? Double tap Thanos and throw Star Lord off the point. Yes. Come on, Eric. Maybe or uh, run Black Cat the hell out of there. Uh, yeah, run Black Cat the hell out of there because if Thanos then daces um, Captain Marvel, he will give up priority for next round. Huh. <laughs> 
she is on three out of six hit points, so important. Looks like he's activating her first. Binary form goes away. He only she only has one power. She needs to do some work here. Yep, she's not getting uh, going binary. He's yeah. decided to go into Star Lord, so she could get two power off of this mm -hmm. if she does the job. Three hits, including a crit. Crit rolls into nothing. One save. Oh. I still think two, two, two uh, energy blasts into Thanos to auto-generate two power and have the throw to get started off the point. So he's going to do Plucky Attitude and re-roll all his dice and uh, saves one. Saves one. So two go through and oh, daze him. Just down. enough. Yep. Just enough. Uh, so was that energy blast? Yes, it was. Okay, so here into Thanos. Yeah, and then she can throw Thanos away, but probably won't deny him an attack. It so, could force him to do a move to go get onto the researcher, because if he doesn't score the researcher, he needs to wipe Eradicus' team out over the course of the game, and that might be tough, especially since he does not want to give up Pryo. Um, and here goes... One, two, three, three damage into the four. Yeah, so three damage go through. So he's on yep. four out of nine. And yep. she's going to spend that power and toss him away. Yep. Medium. Nice. Good plan. Didn't bet you didn't see that coming, Lucas. Just a little rivalry. These, these new um, new streamers. Sure, but angles. Because he's face to face with Star Lord, so he needs to get past. He needs to go parallel to Star Lord. Sure, the... Not sure what how the ba uh, the researcher is obscuring the base placement. Yeah, I think they're base to base, uh, so he can't he can't be he has to go parallel. He can't go to yeah. the left at all. Looks okay, but it's hard to tell given the fact that the researcher <clears throat> is overlapping the bases. Um, so. You could just toss him this way to the bottom right. Uh, what? Decides Didn't... not to throw him? Ooh. Okay. What is going on? What was that? Because he is staggered, so he wouldn't get on the point. Um, then again, uh, Black Cat is the only healthy character on the researcher, and if Thanos decides to daze uh, Black Cat here, then he's going to give up priority for next round. And that could be uh, detrimental. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, so you're saying Eric yeah, purposely actually, didn't yeah, throw Okay, 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 sure. Um, I can see a point in not throwing him here now, because this means that with power-up next round, Eroticus is going to be able to go binary with Captain Marvel. So if uh, this makes it extremely dangerous for Thanos to uh, daze Black Cat, because then he gives up Pryo, uh, and if he doesn't daze Black Cat, then he automatically is going to score the Researcher, taking Eroticus to uh, 14 points, making it uh, impossible for uh, Liam to um, score uh, enough. That's but, clever. That's really clever. Uh, but but there are still two rounds to go after this one, and uh, we he... Liam could very well. He's quite capable of wiping both of Eradicus' characters out, winning by uh, hmm. total annihilation. <laughs> All right, he's going to go into uh, Captain Marvel. So that's two hits with a crit. Not so great. Rolls into nothing. Uh, one save. If uh, she lives. Ooh, winging ink token. Winging ink token. She, she does not live. One, two, three, four. Into yeah. those, and one save. Just enough. Mm. Just enough. Yeah. Wow. Well, he would have had it otherwise, but winging ink token did the, did the job. And he's going to toss her on top of it all. Join. Get rid of the light, pan, light post. Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> and that's it for okay, Thanos. Let's see. Let let's let's see Black Cat uh, kill Thanos with two four dice attacks with Pierce. Then <laughs> it's got Pierce. Yeah, perfect. Okay, let, let let's throw a troublemaker in there. <laughs> yeah, I think it needs to. He needs for to shits and giggles. Yeah. Stagger. Yeah, stagger Thanos, and strike Thanos, dagger him. All right, Eric. Also, if you trigger the elusive, move to the other side of the researchers so that you cannot get uh, thrown into Captain Marvel when Thanos punches you next round. Mm. The... Yeah, uh, bleed on Thanos here uh, is not nothing. Doesn't bleed just get a... he... he doesn't ignore it. Oh, not an enemy effect. No, yeah. okay. Because that's yeah. not an it's not an enemy effect. It's a condition. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay, so yeah, I, I'd say um, maybe troublemaker first. Then maybe even a move to the other side of the researcher. Since it's kind of unlikely to do anything with the the cat claws, except bleed, maybe yeah. Yep, there's the stagger. Troublemaker. Yep. <laughs> if he gets the wild, no. Well, he's got a crit. A he's got a crit. Hang on. Come on, Upsala dice. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Move to the other side of the researcher. Do not line up. Uh, that's brilliant. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it, we we understand each other. This, I like this guy. Well, you should. He's on your, you know, what one of your teams anyway. Yeah. You want to like him well, until no to the other until you get to the final round of the WTC. He's your friend. Oh yeah, Thanos is immune to damage from Troublemaker because he always reduces by one. Yeah. Um, and that's no damage. No damage from the second attack. Oh, well, but yeah. he, he managed to... All right. He holds the researcher because of stupid black cat. <laughs> 14 to 2, yep. ladies and gentlemen. 5. Yeah, this is looking good for Eroticus. Um, as Dokami uh, or Okami, Dokami, Okami, Okami, Okami yeah. points out in the chat, um, if Thanos dazes both uh, Thanos or Star or dazes both uh, dazes Black Cat and KOs Captain Marvel, uh, first activation here, then she will have uh, priority round six and can just run to the corner um, and not get wiped out, and Liam will have no chance of catching up on points. Oh God! Uh, Look at that shitty roll. Oh my God! Storler blew it. Yeah, three hits into one save. Two goes yeah, through. And he can't explode crits anymore either. Right? Because of Black Cat's new ability, he's going to go for her again. As soon as deleted. another spender and Dust Decree, maybe. Let's see. Oh, can you do it, Dust Decree, twice in a turn? Uh, not on the same character. Okay. Right. It's uh, no, not in the same turn. That's what I mean. Uh, you can do it in the same round, not in the same turn. Yeah. Okay, so normal attack going into Black Cat again. This time he rolls. Uh, where are the dice? Some lag, maybe. I don't know what happened. I heard dice rolling, but nothing's updating. There we go. Uh, not bad. Three hits with a crit. Ooh, but good save. Two two crits. Looks like she took one extra damage after all that. Unless some lag yep. there. <clears throat> um, yep, because Starla was unable to explode the crit with the new rules on Black Cat. Hey. Buffs in effect. Buffs. <laughs> Joe Jumanji or is... Sideway, or sideways. Side grades? Uh, a side grade? Side grades, yeah. <laughs> he, he did... Yeah, her 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 cat burglar was ter got an action slapped on it, but as a consolation prize, she had 
she got bleed on damage on her builder and um, uh, no no exploding crits when attacking her. Uh, okay. What's this black cat now going into Star Lord? Yeah, black cat going into Star Lord. Okay, yeah. Crappy hit as usual with black cat, but she gets the stagger on. Your stagger is good, but and then she's gonna get, run, get, run. Get the hell out of way. Maybe she should. Um... Yeah, she's just gonna run away. Yeah, she's slow. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, she's um, slowed. Oh no! Maybe, I mean, I mean, you. She will get the chance to run away. Portal. If uh, Thanos kills, um, if Thanos kills Captain Marvel, then he will get the chance to run away next round. So, not. Yeah, this this doesn't achieve a lot. May uh, is that a, No, that's a size two. So, yeah, maybe maybe achieves a little bit. Thanos needs to go off the point, but Star Lord is still alive. <laughs> Um, well, at least Thanos needs to choose who he goes after. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so maybe not too big of a difference. But I don't think it was necessary for him to to escape. Now he mm -hmm. could he could have waited until he he could have waited until he um, got dazed. And uh, got rid of slow. Yeah. Space space gem. Mm hmm. Moving uh, Thanos. Thanos is now off the points, I think. Yep. Okay, so Thanos is not going to attack Captain Marvel. And I guess Captain Marvel can just run to the opposite board edge. Yeah. Uh, what just happened? Ah, uh, he's gonna just score, try to score out. Maybe, maybe Thanos misplaced. Yeah, Thanos misplaced. So he was not on the researcher, and that meant that uh, Captain Marvel could just move to the researcher, throw Star Lord off, score, and automatically score the two points needed for the victory. There. Whoa! Um, that was weird. Eroticus pulled it off. Yeah. Okay. Did, did not think that would happen. No. Uh, seeing She Hulk go down uh, so that early. fast. Yeah. So, um, kudos. All right. Shall we go uh, find out in the chat? For sure. All right. Yep. So here we go. See you over there. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching so far. Stick around for the post-game analysis with the players. Let's see if I can find them. Doo, doo, doo. There we are. And then... Hello. Uh, hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thanks you again guys. for letting us watch your game tonight. We had so much fun kicking off Season 12 for the stream. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so let's start with you, Liam. Good to see you back, uh, playing another tall list as your style is. How do you, yeah. <clears throat> how we, we thought your, your roster looked at evil, evil on this particular crisis combination. <clears throat> Tell us a little bit about, um, your thoughts about going so tall and how are you liking the changes to Thanos? Yeah, I, I think they're, um, I think Thanos changes are fine. Uh, again, I've never really been one for Cosmic Portling every model off objectives uh would have helped this game but uh turn one but it's he's just still really good like not restricted gems now having access to sacrifice was really good uh i was humming and hating i said to eric at the start of this game was that do i take escort or do i take crew of milano and crew of milano would have definitely helped in one or two of these turns to not be <laughs> staggered every turn on uh on star lord or uh, Bitteryville. Yeah, because you, uh, you had to know that was coming, right? All the staggers that he had available to him? Uh, yeah, it's just matters if like he goes for them, because it's uh, obviously you want the bodyguard with Koye. Black Cat, I wasn't sure if she was going to come or not. Because uh, on the mission... I could say it's somewhat of a curveball, given the fact that there yeah. are no extracts uh, yeah. on the board. Yeah. 
it's just always really good at the the staggering thing uh like obviously like here as well it's proven straight away that not exploding crit center is massive because mm. uh the, that's what kept her alive uh just there at the end uh she's just she's just really good uh and obviously the combo of she hulk and uh akoye's bodyguarding kit is a really good combo Right. <clears throat> Sorry, could I, could I just ask um, yeah. uh, on on the very last uh, round here, uh, what happened there with Thanos? Did he place off of the researcher uh, in order to be within three of Black Cat, or was yeah. it unintentional? Yeah. So I was planning to be off. I didn't. I was unsure. On, I was like measuring it out with the short, like trying to see if the angle was there that I could get it. But unfortunately, also on my screen, I've got the bobble heads on top of everyone, so I've like Thanos' head. It's kind of making me see him at a slightly different angle. Mm -hmm. I have to like change the camera view of him, uh, which kind of put it off. And obviously, I think I must be like millimeters out of hitting Black Cat. If I was still on the point right. and hit Black Cat, I'd obviously be in a good. I'd, it would have been a obviously either a tie on the point, so he'd have scored nothing, and then I've got a turn to try and obviously kill both of them again, uh, which could work or not work. Uh, would have been the plan. Uh, yeah, didn't plan to go down on point so fast. There was just a couple. Of points where i think you saw the early spikes from she, uh the amazing attacks from she hulk just one shot in every time she attacked almost uh was uh, spectacular to see yeah we yeah, we're... except on the recal one which was yeah which was amazing <laughs> yeah classic re use of recal that must have been helped in quite a bit in your corner it did yeah uh yeah it was definitely a, a good recall yeah one of the so what do, what do you think about those early explosive things how, how did you you know how did that change your game plan uh, once I did so much damage to turn one to She-Hulk, I knew my plan, obviously, was to try and get her down on the turn two. Uh, I, like, again, measured the angle wrong for Beta Ray uh, Bill uh, throw, which hit Thanos, which did, obviously, the free damage to himself, mm. stupidly, mm. Uh, which put him in a bad place. But then when, obviously, the spender came into me, I took the damage that would daze me. But if I didn't do the free damage to myself, I would have been fine and alive. And I'd been able to fall back out of the next attack. So then I would have been able to go with Thanos on the turn two and finish off. Because uh, so you, you can't interact with obviously the Portland are off and then uh, hitting her because she was at free health, I think, at that point, uh, which was massive. That was a massive swing uh, at that point. And yeah, just like you say, uh, the plan was just to go obviously for the killing everything as fast as possible. And just unfortunately, derailed quite fast when the attacks were so high in return from uh just she hulk i think it was carol had one or two but yeah she hulk's attacks were just explosive yep huggy what other questions do you have for liam uh, this might be a bit of a bold statement or just uh, over generalizing but um would you liam agree that unnerfed thanos uh does not let eric score the researcher this uh, this many times you wouldn't, you wouldn't have scored at turn one because i got enough power from sl uh, hitting she hulk twice to obviously move a koi and carol off which yes mm -hmm. uh, so, so you could obviously either move she hulk on which you could have through so we just definitely still scored at turn one but uh, the, yes, I, like you say i don't think there'd be as much scoring uh you'd also be able to obviously dazed on turn two but most of the time he wouldn't daze that early and you'd be able to set up like you say lanes for throwing people a lot more than uh what he does now but i wouldn't have sacrifice so i would have probably actually died turn one uh so it's a bit of a a, a, a shake up there uh i would say but yeah definitely the uh multiple co cosmic portal obviously was very strong uh it's no longer with us unfortunately what were you most worried about then when you saw um eric's team uh, it's a force are weird because they like uh like, again you're gonna see uh jennifer but like everything kind of has a job gwen's really irritating because of how much power she gets from the leadership mm -hmm. she'd been quite annoying just jumping through a portal pull someone off jump for another portal pull someone off and uh rinse and repeating that job sort of thing mm -hmm. uh but yeah just the the multiple staggers was very uh strong uh and just again, I think like I do like Carl. Well, old Carl. Hopefully, new Carl is also really good with yeah uh, the leadership of uh, A Force. 
uh, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, but again, as, as I thought when we were saying that as well, with once she hulks power, leadership goes off the table. The power, like the power going around, is you you do struggle a lot more of actually having enough power to continue doing stuff. Yeah, uh, which obviously is the opposite of what the new Cyclops is. So it'll be good to see what he does <laughs> uh, and be in a more proactive version. Because if I had more models access to displacement, you could, I could just never attack. And obviously, I'm not playing a faction really is designed to do that. There's other factions that are designed to just keep f- throwing you off objectives and you just never gain the power that the leadership wants. Yep. You played A Force for a while? You mean me or Eric? Sorry. Yeah, you, Liam. Sorry. I've I've not played A Four since I played them a bit when they I first started the game uh, when we had obviously crazy Medusa and Enchantress mm. and things like that. But I've not played them since uh, the all you've got days. Right. Okay. Cool. Right. Anything else, Huggy Bear? Before we go over to Eric. Uh, no. Let's do that. Let's go over to Eric. Eric, welcome for the first time to the stream. We're glad to have you, especially since you're one of the Swedish WTC members. Yes. Thank you. So great. We made a lot of jokes about Uppsala versus Lund and who's got a better university and all that kind of stuff. So I am hope you enjoy that when you listen back to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also, we like to know where you buy your dice because we would like to buy some of those dice. Yeah. Uh, this is the normal, normal core books dice. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, maybe that's why I, I like playing A4 so much because usually when I play she she really performs. So I don't I don't have the same uh, experience as other people have maybe. Yeah, how long have you been playing MCP and how long has it been with A Force? So I've only played A Force since I started. And it was around the time I think uh, right before the the Eratas, the first Eratas came out. Uh, or around when um, uh, all you got and field dressing was uh, legal around that time. Oh, okay, right. Um, and so you've been playing them ever since. And w- what is it that you like about them? Uh, it's like um, how, how uh, Shiok works. Like uh, how she's like a unique character, and like she's she's Hulk, but but different. And mm-hmm. and I really like the power generation that she gives out to to all the models. Mm-hmm. Now, you had a lot of good tech to help protect her. Koye, fallback, sacrifice. But Liam was doing, you know, what good players do is, is trying to out-control you uh, to nullify all of those uh, saving mechanisms. How did you feel about um, the way he unpicked your protection? So I think on turn one, maybe I could have placed a bit better. Um Put the positioning on like Okoye being a bit further forward on the researcher. Uh, but like the portals are going to happen and there's not that much you can do about it. Uh, so I was debating of using Stalwart uh, instead uh, one of the cards to mitigate like the throws from uh, maybe Bill and Thanos. Right. And if he was going to play uh, maybe Ghost Rider as well. Uh, but generally, you just have to like, uh, just like, kind of go with the flow and just hope you can do as much damage as you possibly can before uh, he gets too too many portals off. Okay, so how did you feel? Uh, what was the game plan starting off, and how did it change when you saw those big spikes? And um, so the game plan was just going really aggressive. Try and get like a, a fast delivery off uh, as, as well as I could, uh, and just like try and get as many hits onto Thanos uh, as fast as possible. Um, get the portals off, and then like just doing as much damage as I could. Um, so even when when Shiok died and after the spikes, I felt like it was. My plan kind of shifted to like considering to maybe run away mm-hmm. when I had enough points and knowing that like even if it goes to end of turn six, if I can't survive, even if I score zero and he scores three, yep, it's three or four, uh, I would still win. 
Uh, so that was a uh, new consideration after having such a good uh, first two terms. And so um, did you feel like you were in um, trouble then once she died or were you already in a comfortable position and it just a matter of, of um, scoring the points? I mean, it, it always gets a bit shaky when she dies because like that's a lot of the power in, in this like 15 threat list. Yep. But I felt I had got a decent amount of points and I had like most of my characters were still like on the, the healthy side mm -hmm. uh, so, so I, I wouldn't say I was comfortable but I, I still saw like a chance that uh, I got a good chance to win so cool all right um, we were we were uh, at, yeah. at the time when uh, she hulk was about to die um, we were uh, discussing the possibility of um, Okoye double bodyguarding her um, now she got one shot so that was obviously off the table but um, if there was like uh, what, what, what did you ever consider uh, the placement of Okoye um, during her last activation before She-Hulk died uh, if you could place her in a way so that she couldn't be thrown outside of two of She-Hulk by Thanos' uh, punch um I don't think so I... So that she could bodyguard twice? Yeah, I don't think I... Can... Maybe it was a bit fast on that. I didn't consider it that much. I probably... I guess it would be hard to avoid her being able to stand in a way that she wouldn't be able to... Yeah. She, that she would, would be able to... Would been something along the lines of backstopping towards Captain Marvel. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I, didn't, I didn't consider that, but... Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah she, she was but... uh, killed in, in one punch anyway. Yeah. Uh, I, I, so... I just kind of assumed that she would either like die or be thrown, or uh, yeah, that she would probably get like one, one bodyguard off. Right. Um, I was also curious. Um, we were uh, doing quite a bit of math uh, towards the round, uh, towards the end of the round three and onwards. Um, where it looked like you were uh, would be able to score enough points to um, make it impossible for Liam to catch up. Um, did you ever consider uh, just running away uh, after going uh, reaching a certain points level, um, or was uh, keep uh, keep doing the attrition always your main focus? Uh, so yeah, at, it, when I was at like. I think it was 11 points. Uh, we did some. I think we checked if it was if it was possible to to just run away, and I think we concluded that it would be equal if I didn't score anything, and uh, and Liam scored like four each round. Uh, so yeah, which would be the max with two characters. Yeah, yeah. So, so I. Um, I did consider um, running away at that point, but I took a chance and played it kind like safe in a way that I would score one more round, and after that round, I would probably just like try and mitigate as much damage as I can and run away. Right. Did you have any more questions that we were chatting about during the game, Huggy Bear? Um, uh, no, just uh, uh, like to say uh, thank you for letting us stream. Uh, it was a great watch, and uh, uh, good luck to both of you guys uh, in the upcoming games. Um, and uh, w will you be going to the WTC, Liam? I'm not, unfortunately, not this year. Oh. Uh, oh. Maybe next year. year. Uh, next year. Next year. Maybe. I hope so. Maybe next year. I'm at York for is Norbert are you at York? Yes. Oh great. Yeah. We'll be able to meet then. Fantastic. We'll see you next week. Yes. <laughs> yes indeed. You bring in some scotch down? Uh I can do. Oh, I can do. Okay. I I'm bringing some up. <laughs> so it, it made the journey all the way to London just to come back up to York. <laughs>
Fantastic. Um, listen, gentlemen, thank you again for letting us stream the game. Uh, we were thrilled to see some of the new characters on the table, and it was a really fun match, really different match. So thanks for that. Uh, congratulations from me as well to both of you. Liam's still in it. He's got one loss now, but uh, that as long as he wins all the rest of his games, that'll be fine. Um, and there's three more to go in the season. We do six, six weeks of uh, regular games before we go into the cuts part of it. So thank you everybody also for joining. We had a really lively chat. Lots of new people in the chat as well. So thank you very much for uh, helping us, keeping us uh, entertained. And we hope everybody watching at home hits the like and subscribe button uh, just so that other people can find the channel and uh, because I get to say the things that all like professional streamers get to say. So that's why I said it <laughs> mostly. <laughs> and most of all, thank you to my friend, Huggy Bear. So great to have you on the stream again tonight. Thank you, Norbert. Always a pleasure. Excellent. All right, everybody. Until next time. Thank you and good night.